Saturday night hang time starts now. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the basketball extravaganza known as Friday Night Hang Time. I'm Donnie Tillman. And I'm David Coy. We got a little crazy tonight with all the highlights. 40 games and oh, 40 teams and 20 games coming your way. That's right. Let's get it started, shall we? Our game of the night taking place in the capital, Calvary, visiting number one state ranked Springfield Lutheran. I see you, fellas. All right, to the highlights we go. Check out the nice spin move there. Pearson Wolfer gets it to go for two. Tyler Upshaw is going to dish to his teammate Neil Ferris. He drains the jumper there in this game going back and forth early on. Both teams pumped up. Then it's Joseph Martin. He had his A game going in the first half. Pull up jumper off the glass. Did someone call glass? Yes, I heard glass. Lutheran working the ball around down to you know who, Mr. Woofer. He stops, pops, and drops that layup in for two. And watch Adam Forrester dribbling the ball through the defense here. He sees his teammate who throws his hands up, and he throws in the lane. That's Jacob Pfeiffer there. Calvary inbound play. Taylor Upshaw to Joseph Martin. Bucket plus the bump. They're excited over on the visitor side. Jacob Pfeiffer hitting the jumper there, and he's giving a little fist pump there. I saw the finger. Way. Tyler Upshaw driving. He would tie the game up here with that nice drive, but... In the end, it was the number one team in Class 1A that got it going. Pearson Wolford hits the three, 62-38. Lutheran rolls in this contest. In Edinburgh, the Wildcats welcoming Greenview tonight. We'll pick things up in the second quarter. Luke Crane goes in and makes the two there. That made it 14-11 in the contest. Then check it out. Brody Walton to Cortez Luttrell goes in and makes the two. Cortez Luttrell, I see you on Twitter, buddy. Greenview trying to get in on the action. Nathan Fox, he'll sink the three there. Referee has his hands up. Later, it's Steve Hess who follows up with a three ball of his own. But Edinburgh will pick up the win, 52-41. Time to take a trip down to Taylorville. As the tornado is welcome in the wave. First quarter we go. Sawyer, Sawyer. Scott feeds it to Brain Smith. That's 4-2-2. Two two. Then Smith with the long ball. Jack Robin finishes the play. Tornadoes. Get spinning. Cole Sheedy over to Mitchell Rhymes. Drains the three. The three ball is good to go. Then Eric Dust follows up with his own three ball. Final this one. Taylorville wins 77 to 59. Over on the west side of the state, Sullivan hosting Warrensburg late at the first quarter. Austin Tucker finds Weston Nolfman for two. Then here come the Redskins. Nick French overshoots, but Ty Molson recovers it goes past that defender, he ties the game up, and Tyler Bond with the interception, goes coast to coast, gets the lay in, and we are doing pretty well for them. Later on, Will Gustafson makes his own interception, then gets it over to Tucker, makes a nice two. Warrensburg Latham stays perfect, 62-37 final. We gotta work on your geography. At yeah. Meridian, the Hawks hosting St. Teresa. We'll pick things up in the fourth quarter. Jacob Boston is going to make the two there. Bulldogs up 35-30. Later on, it's Quan Bradford dialing it up long distance. He's got unlimited minutes on his phone. He's also got a three. Hawks down by two. Then it's Dalton Collins from the corner. Nothing but net there. Get fired up because late in the game, it's Rashawn Smith from outside the arc. Stop popping. Drains a three. Cold as ice. The final St. Teresa 60. Meridian 53. Clinton heading down Route 51 this evening to check in with Central A&M. We'll check in the second quarter. Jacob Overton is going to sink the three ball there for the Maroons. Later, Trenton Chepin is going to find his way to the net. Watch the drive through the defense, and he gets it to go for the basket. Still in the second quarter, it's Mr. Carter. Driving, basket is true for two. Late in the half, Devin Reed is going to go long and make the trade. Clinton over Central A&M, 74-59. The Central State 8 tourney tips off tonight in Jacksonville with Rochester host the Crimson and the host Crimson. Second quarter, things get started with Adam Conradi from the paint. He makes the jumper rockets up 10-9. Then Daniel Ziegler gets it in, going for three. He's good to go. But then Joe Brenneman makes a move, drops in the two. And Jacksonville up by three. Next play we go. James White from the top of the key drops in the three, but Rochester goes on to win its second CSA game, 37-36. Sacred Heart Griffin steps out of conference play to take on QND. Start, check out Gabe Green to Sean McDonald. He goes up, gets the layup. Then St. Clones force the turnover. Avery Andrews takes it the other way. 
finishes at the rack. I feel the like I was there. Yeah, he was, you were that guy. Andrews again, a little shake and bake move right here. And SAG defeats QND 55 6. All right, time to turn our attention to the Sangamon County Boys Tournament. We'll start in the third place game tonight. It was Williamsville and Pleasant Plains battling for the bronze. Third quarter, Isaac Collins knocks it loose. And then it's Cole Greer down to Dalton Nibby for the two. Plains up eight at this point. Later, it's Dylan B. Fast break, driving to the basket, gets it to go, count it plus the foul. Back comes Williamsville. It's Ben Kavasevich who's going to fight through, and he scores for two. His team, though, down 12 at that point. Later, it's Harrison Cresswell. He'll get a quick uh, layup to go in for two, but it's Pleasant Plains that wins this contest 63-52. Pawnee and Riverton for the consolation title tonight. Bump in the chest right there. First quarter, Jordan Hampton feeds it over to Kate Busey, who drains the three. It's the first three of the game. Next play, Josh Gabriel turns it, makes the nice little floater. Then, Pusey, almost the same exact play from the same corner, drops in another three ball. And later on, it would be Jordan Fisher, the bounce pass over to Vince Lanier, who goes off the glass. Hawks win the consolation title, 52 to 46. Tri-City and New Berlin in the seventh place game. Pretzels led by five at the half. Third quarter, Cam Cummings fights his way in, makes the two, it's now 34-29. Then, the two teams fight over the ball. It's finally given to Trevor Martin, who makes the lay-in. And later on, Martin keeping the Tornadoes alive. He finds the net one more time. He's starting to get things. He's commanding things going. Late fourth quarter now. Pass over to Casey Bixby, who drives it into the rack. Final on this one, 52-46. All right, to the Mohawk Classic now. I've always wanted the Mohawk. A pair of games this evening as the host battle Lincoln Wood. Reese Snyder to Brian Graham. That is good for a deuce. Later it's Alex Brockham to Anthony Yatuni who gets the jumper to go. How about Reese Snyder? More from him in this game. He finds Derek Sale. Nice cut. Nice finish. That's how you complete a play there. That's a one-two punch. Then it's Jamie Farrell to Todd Cotta for two. 57-47. Lincoln Wood a winner by 10. In the early game, South Fork and the Comas matching up as they get ready to take the court. First quarter, Reed Detmers to Marcus Chouse. He gets it to go for two. Back comes South Fork. The Ponies looking to keep it going. Clayton Dees, the miss. Cody Dorsey. Rebound and basket is good. More from the corner there is Jordan Burnett to Austin Warren, who knocks down the three. And the Comas is going to get Detmers to Braden Sable for two. 40-19, Comas rolls in this one. Grand Tool traveling to Memorial Foresight tonight. I like those jumpers they have. First quarter, Kevonte Williams makes the steal, takes it all the way to the back, throws down the slam, and Ooh, he's yeah. getting into it. Then, Blake Bryant goes long. That's a nice three-point good to go. Martillion Gibson, nice name, fakes the D and puts up the jumper, but late in the first, Bryant Aarons out running defender and gets the ball to Brody Anderson. Yeah, he makes the two in the final, 66-36. Mount Pulaski on their home floor tonight, taking on Midwest Central from Blake Collier. Over to Bew Collier. Bo Collier. Bo, Bo, Bo Collier. Thank Bo, you so much, Bo sir. Knows. He makes a nice three. Hilltoppers playing some defense. Collier slips the ball away, plays a little give and go. Michael Lowry gets the finish. Mike Lowry. Bad boys, too. I like that. Matt Amden crosses over to Bo Collier again. 56-36. Mount Pulaski wins. Friday night hang time continues. The Central State 8 girls basketball teams all in action this evening. Let's get right to it. Rochester taking a short drive over to Southeast tonight. That's a jumper from the corner. That's Sidney Led who drains the three. Later, it's Lyric Boone who's going to hit the long two. Rocket State perfect in conference play 51-40. All right, Springfield High and Lincoln tonight. We'll start our highlights in the first quarter. It's Megan Jackson. Layup is good for two to start the scoring in this contest. Then it's Macchiana Pulliam who's going to fight through the defense here, and she'll score the basket. Springfield High wins big, 72-31. Lampia making a trip over to Decatur. Eisenhower, third quarter we go. Lydian Gavin collects the rebound, and Devin Baxter makes the nice layup. Check her out. Whoop, there you go. Then Gavin gets it over to D.D. Boston. She's going to go all the way in, make a nice little basket, and Eisenhower wins 61 to 54. MacArthur to Glenwood. Titans would take a big lead at the half. Third quarter, 
Some nice passing. Ellie Alexander hooks it in for two. Then check out the long ball from Mackenzie Gray. It's going to be up right here. Then Abby Deverman finishes at the basket. 74-37 all right, SHG hosting Jacksonville tonight, and it was a fun contest for this one. How about early in the first quarter? Kaylin Tate driving hard to the basket. She gets the ball to go in for two. Check out the passing here by Jacksonville. It's Emily Hillis who scores. And I got to show this play here because the post move of the year. Watch Olivia Coffin. That's a Hakeem Olajuwon like spin move right there. Great game taking place at SHG. Hey, 20 games are in the books now, and we are still not done because you know what? We've got highlights from the 30-second challenge coming up after the break. All right, time now for the Friday Night Hang Time 30-second challenge brought to you by Susan's Auto Mall. Let's see if someone drove off with a 2015 Chevy Camaro. Susan's Auto Mall presents the 30-second challenge. Ah! Woo! Yeah, the let's get excited. Back. Man, he traveled. He traveled. You gotta bounce the ball, man. All right, now we're at the free throw line. Okay, free throw is good. 20 seconds to go. Now you, you, you gotta calm down. You gotta make sure that you're even kill with yourself and shoots through. Ooh, that's is this a three, three shot from the college line? Uh, that I was think a three so. point attempt. Yes, uh, that missed. And man, he almost connected on that one. Still gotta get to the half court shot, too. So the three point line kind of did him in there for the 30 second challenge. But hey, good effort. second challenge is brought to you though. by Susan's Auto Mall in Springfield. All right, folks, before we close things out for Friday night, hang time. It's time to check out Fan Cam, your well, favorite part, at least for me. That's right, one of my favorite uh, parts of the show. And I hey, love this right here. She asked the gentleman to go to the Sadie Hawkins band. She wanted to make sure I got that. Oh, that's pretty cute. Yeah, that's and, good of course, some fans there. having fans there. There's some uh, Hilltoppers, those are Mount Pulaski's fans, I'm assuming, right there, getting oh, all These guys up. went crazy. I think it was a farm night this tonight over in Jacksonville. And, of course, the little kids. Looks like she's playing on – no, she's not playing on her cell phone. I thought she was there for sure. No, she was just uh, checking out the game. And, of course, the sights and sounds of the contest. We had a great time with Friday Night Hang Time. Hope you did, too. Of course, you can relive all the magic. Just go to WICS.com. He's David Coy. I'm Donnie Tillman. Have a good night. Have a good weekend, everyone.